everybody, and thank you for joining us for some girls volleyball here on WNY Athletics Live tonight. Tonight we have the Lancaster Legends taking on the Clarence Red Devils here at the Java Gym. Tim Rosek, Joe Daniel here for the call. Tim, it's good to see you. It's been a few months. Are you excited for some girls volleyball here on a Tuesday night? Absolutely. Pleasure to be back at the booth with you, Joe, and it's a great night of action at the Java Gym, the first game. The JV Lancaster Lady Legends took that match against Clarence and had a chance to speak with the Clarence coach, uh, Robin Shiflett's daughter, who uh, has been happy with her team, but we're on to varsity here, Joe, and these are two teams that are highly rated. We've got uh, third-ranked Lancaster based on the Buffalo News, poll, news polls, and they're facing the fifth-ranked Clarence. Yeah, you know, it should be a tremendous matchup. Lancaster is 8-1 on the season, only losing to Frontier three sets to one last week. Both teams have lost to Frontier. Frontier's having a great year going 8-0. Uh, they've won 21 out of their 22 sets. I'm sorry, they're 7-0 on the year for Frontier. But this could be a good game with Lancaster and Clarence. With Clarence 5-3, and three, they have won 13 out of the to total 25 sets that they played. So they're in third place. Clarence trailing only Frontier is there in second. And Clarence head coach was uh, really excited to get back three-year starter Madeline O'Brien who comes back tonight. She was off for a little while and they're six and three on the season. They've made a change a week ago switching to the offense which is a 5-1 offense. They were in a 6-2 and uh, look for number 10, their four-year starter to be one of the leaders for this Clarence roster and that's Taylor Dunnell. So the first Set here will be led off by Lancaster with April Jakubuski. Ref just getting everything set up here to the side. And the officials tonight are Mike Jansma and Russ Skoranitz. Uh, and Becky Edwards, head coach of Lancaster, and Clarence is led by Robin Shiflett, assistant coach Chris Fabries, and Carly Shiflett. JV coach, I'm sure she'll help out as well tonight. Robin Shiflett back after uh, coaching the Clarence team for years and back now and for Lancaster, Becky Edwards has been at the helm for about nine years. So Jabkowski will serve it. Clarence trying to control it, they'll hit it back over. There's a nice set. Jabkowski tipped over by Makita Kukram and it will go out of bounds and Clarence will get the first point. And good action to start off. So that will switch it back over here to Clarence with Emily Schwabach. She will be the first server of the game. I'm sure we'll see a lot of her tonight, Tim. Certainly. So here's Schwabach's first serve, goes over the net. And Krell by the libero. Set up nicely, and a good spike by Megan. And Lancaster's gonna get that point right back, and it's 1-1. Yeah, Hemanowski really effective with that spike there. Looks like a good, good early start for both teams. Yeah, Hamanowski gets the point. She's going to serve it. Gets over. Set up nicely. And will that be in? It will be. A nice job by Gianna Christopher finding that soft spot in the deep part of the play, and it falls in for a point. Yeah, you could see Christopher brought the boom there. A lot of velocity on that ball. Taylor Donnell, she has been a four-year starter for the Red Devils. She will now serve it. Gets it over, sets up. Tipped right over, good save. Back and forth, and it went off the net, but it would have counted, and um, Allison Farmer just couldn't control, and it'd be a point for Clarence. And Clarence looking aggressive, and Paying dividends so far, now up three to one. Yeah, Danelle will still serve it as the point is still in favor for the De Red Devils. They have to hit it on three, they do. And good job, nice hit over by Allison Farmer. Good effort though by the Red Devils and Lancaster gets the point back after losing the first three out of four there and they're gonna get the serve. And the Lady Legends, it's a lot of youth on this team. They have one senior only. Cochran tips it over with the serve. There's a nice setup. Oh, good block at the line as uh, Gabby Lewis had a chance. Back and forth action here. Ball's in the air. Good save. And it's going to hit the net. 
as April Jakubowski attempts, she just, she was facing backwards. It was a hard hit. That one goes in the net and it's gonna give the points to Clarence. Again, uh, definitely April is considered one of the team captains, one of the best players for Lancaster. Coach Becky Edwards had nothing but great things to say about her pregame. Kennedy with the serve. And a hit over here, it's gonna be in, it will be. And a nice hit there, finding that soft spot in the deep zone again was Farmer. So a good job by both teams here, controlling the ball and getting a good set piece here and a good spike. So 4-3 is the score. That one's gonna hit the net. This time Clarence could not control the ball. Joe, so, you and I had a chance to speak before the game. Of course. Discussing the potential for this match to go beyond the three sets. Uh, and I think we both can agree that it does look like, uh, I don't think we're gonna see a sweep. It's still early, but both teams look very evenly matched so far. There's a good setup. And that one's gonna be in. Oh, nice setup by Jakuski. She got over to Farmer. The Farmer's gonna get the point, and it's 5-4 Lancaster in a back and forth first game here. A first set, I should say. 5-4 and a, um, gonna have a substitution. So Grace Strother is gonna come in. She's gonna be taking out Gabby Lucios for our first sub here off tonight's action. Good save by Notaro. Now back. A set, tip, and yes, so a nice tip there. Sophia Fuller just got over the net. Clarence could not handle it. And one of the first points we've seen, Tim, just from just getting the ball over and Clarence was unable to control it, they lead 6-4. Absolutely, Joe, nice little floater there. Good effort by Taylor Denal. And the point will be favored here for Clarence. But that was all because of the null. She dove, kept the ball alive, and the point was able to go towards Clarence at 6-5. to five. And these teams met earlier this year with Lancaster winning, and uh, certainly looks like Clarence has revenge on their mind right now. A good setup by Jokuski to Fuller. And we have a 7-5 score. Substitution here. That's Erica Christopher. Is, yeah, Christopher's gonna come out here. Well, I'll tell you, Tim, you know, this volleyball is, it's fast. It's flat, faster than I thought. At the line, good job by both teams controlling it. And it, I believe they touched the net here, so a point's gonna be favored for Lancaster. Yeah, you can see the crowd is into it too, Joe. They have a pretty, Almost a f packed Java gym, uh, seating on one side only. Another point here for Lancaster with 9-5. They do play up to 25, got to win by two the first three sets. If we get to a fourth set, it will be up to 15. So. Both teams really have done a good job winning in three or four sets on the year. Here's the serve by Farmer. Tipped over and great job by Fuller. She got her hands up there, Tim. Knocks it in, gets the point. And a timeout for Clarence with a 10-5 lead for Lancaster. And with that, we'll take a quick timeout. We'll be right back. You're watching live action on WNY Athletics. If you've been injured in an auto accident, large or small, call 681-4088. RES Physical Medicine and Rehab right away. If you are in pain or just sore, don't take chances. Call RES today and take advantage of their 24 to 48 hour appointment pledge. With no co-pays, RES will help navigate the confusing world of no fault insurance with you. So you can concentrate on getting better. 681-4088, RES Physical Medicine and Rehab. The most important call you can make after an auto accident. Welcome back here to Lancaster with the girls volleyball here between Lancaster and Clarence. 10-5 Lancaster. Clarence just called a timeout in a back and forth, very fun, fast paced first set here between two teams here out of the ECIC Division One. I. I like that timeout called by Robin Shiflet. Uh, Lancaster was gaining a lot of momentum and trying to stymie it. Clarence trying to get it back over, they do. Set up nicely, and a good spike. 
by Megan Hermanski. And off the timeout, the first point's going to go to Lancasterton. Yeah, Carolyn Agrisano was in position. Uh, difficult, difficult ball to defend right there. Lancaster doing a good job right at the line here at the net. This serve will go into the net for Farmer. And that's going to turn the ball back over to Clarence, and they're going to get it back after a couple points with Lancaster's way with Gabby Lucios. She's going to be serving. Lucios gets over the net. That one's back over, and a nice job. You know, we've seen a lot of Jakuski here, Tim, getting over to Mounsky for that spike, a nice setup here, and it's just finding a soft spot in the defense for that point. Absolutely, and you can see Lancaster is really on point and playing with a lot of chemistry right now. We do have a whistle. Might have had a substitution here. Looks like uh, the, ref, the officials are... Little discussion by the coach and the official. Just a little disagreement, but you know, Tim, that, that sometimes happens in sports. I should know. I'm a coach myself, and sometimes we disagree with the refs. And I love the passion, though. You know, you have to show your players as well, and Coach Schiffert, uh, Schifflet is doing that, you know, letting her team know that she's going to defend them and try to try to really sta state their case. And doesn't hurt to let the referee and umpire know how you feel. Otero gets it over on the serve. There's a nice setup. Good hit at the line. And it's going to be a point for Clarence. As that was led by Denell, she got it over on the spike. And Lancaster couldn't control it, gets into the net. And a point will be favored to Clarence as they trail 12-7. Fish gets the, the uh, serve over. There's a setup over the line. Denell. Oh, great job. He almost hitting it back over was it Andrews. But another point for Lancaster as they get some back here as they close the gap with 12 to 8. Yeah, I, you can see the, you know, the tenacity on these shots for both teams right now. Fish, and here's a spike. All tipped at the line. Good job. Almost. Still staying with it, both teams. Another spike. And we have... Uh, some great action. Oh, finally it gets tipped in. So Donnell wins the point for uh, for Clarence. Both teams going right back and forth here with controlling the ball. And finally Clarence was able to get, win that point. Yeah, and Gabby Leosis, uh, tremendous job returning that spike and setting up that team for the pointer. That one's going to be in off the spike from Nikita Corcoran. And once again, she's set up by Jakuski who has been fantastic tonight setting up her teammates. She set up uh, Coker and, and Hamansky a couple times here for some big points. Joe, you got to love the enthusiasm the Lady Legends are bringing right now. Here's the serve. And could not be controlled by Angrosino in a great serve by Jack Lewski. You made a point earlier about the speed of play in volleyball and, you know, the momentum swings. They happen quickly, and you can see once a team has it, it's uh, it's just a matter if that other team can really get the momentum back. But right now, Lancaster has more momentum. Another serve by Jack Lowski. This one gets volleyed over. Lancaster trying to set something up. They do. And it's a control. Danelle saves it. To back over. Both teams looking for that spike there. Oh, great job by number seven. Gabby Lucios, she saved it, and it's going to help her team get a point. Tim, that was a hard return there. Yes, Lucios has been really, really solid so far in this game, and that's a couple of digs that she's had early on in the first set here. A much needed point closes the run on Lancaster, 14 to 10. Served by Schwellback. That one's not going to find inside the field of play. And that will turn the ball over for the serving to Lancaster and a point for Lancaster. So Megan Hamansky will be have the serve. Fortunately, that one's going to come up short. 
Clarence is going to get the ball right back. So both teams now, Joe, with a couple turnovers off the serve. and Back to back. Clarence with an opportunity to try to get back into this clawback right now, only down 15 to 11. Here's the star player, Taylor Denal, four-year starter. Unbelievable. Denal's going to go over. There's a setup, spike, and could not be controlled by Denal. So rare miss there, but a good hit by Corcoran putting some pressure on Denal. Yeah, I don't claim to be the most expertise uh, with volleyball, but Denal, uh, I think Tim, just, don't say that. <laughs> I think uh, she just gets a little lower with her body there, though, and she may be able to get that ball up. Good control here. Spike tipped. Great save. Still in the air. That was a great save by Crocker, and it's going to find its way out of bounds. But great job by Lancaster, Tim, with a couple of good dives. Crocker leading the way. Unfortunately, they won't get the point, but great effort on their side. Yeah, this set's still very much in the balance, and with Clarence Red Devils at the helm here off the serve. Tipped over. Well, back and forth. Oh, right at the line. Great job by the Red Devils. I'm sorry, by the Legends. That one's going to go out of bounds, and Clarence will get the, get the point. Good job by the Legends, though, right at the line, keeping that from being an easy point for Clarence. Yeah, so far, Lancaster with more spike opportunities and capitalizing on a lot of them, but right now, Clarence inching back. Kennedy still serving, three. and a little confusion there between Jakuski and Farmer, and a rare mix-up here for the Legends, and a timeout on the court. We're in set one at 16-14. Legends, we'll be right back. When it's time to sell your home, start with a visit to howardhanna.com, ranked the number one real estate site for sellers. A few clicks will show you the sales price you can expect for your home. We can get you the most money in the quickest amount of time because we know where the local buyers are and how to reach them. So if it's time to sell your home, visit howardhanna.com today and we'll match you with a local Howard Hanna agent to sell your home fast. Welcome back here to Lancaster for some ECIC girls volleyball. And this one's going to go out of bounds. It sailed on Kennedy. So no aces tonight, Tim. And we talked about a couple of serves just went on the wayward. But a good job of keeping them in play. Just only about two or three that have gone out. Lancaster's going to get the ball back off the serve. Clarence trying to set up. They got hit over in three. They do. Here's the spike. Good block at the wall again. Going to try again. Oh, good. Good return here. Clarence keeping it strong. Good block at the wall. Oh, that's a great job by Jakuski. Still at the net. And that one is going to be in. Clarence a, gets the point. A great back and forth between these two teams. Yeah, and you could see both teams really... Uh, Fighting hard for that point. What a volley. 17-15 as Clarence closes the gap here in the first set. And that one's going to go in to the net off of Christopher. So that's going to give a three-point advantage here. Lancaster will get the serve. We've seen a couple of those tonight. No aces yet. Um, Lancaster's Farmer will be the server. Farmer gets it over. Good job by Kennedy. Kennedy sets it up, tipped back over by Strother. And now Lancaster trying to find some space. They do a great save by Kennedy. Tipped, will count, and a point. Nice job by Strother. She's got her hands over just enough, kept it in the line. Clarence gets a big point, two point game. And that's really a subtle type of play where the timing on that, it's almost like a feint that she does at the net and a little delay in pushing that ball over. and. Caught a little bit off guard, you know, catches uh, Lancaster a little off step. Beautiful point there for Grace. Lucios will be the server. Gets it over and just a little too far out. And the Legends will get the point, and they will have the opportunity to serve as they are six points away from winning set one. 
Joe, we mentioned Lancaster has a lot. Of, only one senior. They're in a rebuilding. They graduated nine last year, nine, nine seniors. So this team really growing before our eyes. Still in play. Both teams controlling the play. Seen some outstanding job just keeping the ball in play. Once again, Clarence has it. Nice hit over by Pulowski. Now here's a set. Spike, no, she's going to tip it over. She gets it in. She fooled me, Tim. Kamowski just tips it over. She thought about spiking him and said, nope, I'm going to tip it over. Five points away again, from winning a set. Again, that subtle. Paying dividends now for the Lancaster Lady Legends. Uh, huh? Yep, and a timeout for Clarence. The trail 2016 set one. We'll be right back. Paul Wolf Agency, how can I help? I got a problem. I got a big problem. The house flooded overnight, everything's destroyed, and I don't know what to do. You can relax. The wolf is on his way. What's the damage? It's bad. As opposed to good? It's 20 minutes away. I'll be there in 10. You're Teddy? Yes, sir. I'm Paul Wolf. I solve problems. Oh, good, because I got a big one in here. May I come in? <laughs> Absolutely. Mr. Wolf, can I get you a cup of coffee? Here to Lancaster, Tim Rosick, Joe Daniel here on a Tuesday night section six volleyball game between Lancaster and Clarence. There's the serve. Great job by Clarence. Luisios keeping the play. Here's a spike. Great job again by Luisios keeping it up. Danell. Great job by both teams. Danell hits it back over. Here's a set play. Spike. Tipped. Oh. Luisios doing a great job of keeping in both teams here. Oh, great job right at the wall by the Clarence defense here, right at the front of the net. Danell trying to get it. Nice job there by 14 Farmer, keeping it in. There's a set, Danell trying again. Great hustle by number nine, Andrews. Back and forth, who's gonna get the point? Andrews again. Farmer, tipped, and it falls. Back and forth, and that point will go to Lancaster with Allison Farmer leading the way. And the crowd definitely giving some loud cheers after that hard-fought point. Madeline Andrews, one of the leading leading uh, members of this Lancaster Lady Legends, with a nice nice save there. And here's a set. Donnell blocked at the line. Corral by Clarence. Donnell going to try it again. And then uh, Farmer was able to return that. Here's another set. Donnell in. It is. Donnell in the back corner on the left side. That's a couple couple times where that ball has hit that corner perfect inbounds. And that's one area I'm sure Coach Becky Andrews wants to have her. One of the it's in one of the rare times there was really no one in that vicinity. So Jamie Fish, I believe this is her first time serving tonight. This one's gonna get over. Great job by Hamansky, saving it. Hamansky now with the spike. Tipped. Oh, great job there at the line. Controlled. Spike by Donnell. Returned. Volleyed over. Another volley here by Palowski. Donnell. Oh, great job by Notero. She keeps it in. Hit back over. Great save. Notero in the back end. They got to hit over on three, they do. This one's gonna hit, oh, almost hit the ceiling. It's gotta be on three. Uh, even the Clarence coach knew it hit the ceiling and it did. And the refs are gonna talk about this, Tim. I'm pretty sure about five hits ago, that hit the ceiling. Absolutely. Clarence and isn't wrong. Coach Robin Schifflet finally bringing that to the attention of the officials, Mike Jansma and Russ Swaranska are going to talk it out, but it definitely looked uh, from our vantage point here, which is right yeah. here, not that far away from the roof, uh, the, the beams, I should say. 
Tim, I don't always agree with the referees. They were right on this one. Absolutely. So Clarence gets lucky, though. The refs do agree because that did happen a couple hits ago. They win the point. They trail by three. Here's a serve by Fish. And Hermanski at the line. And Parker just couldn't get it over. It's going to hit the net. So the point's going to be awarded to Clarence. They trail 21-19. First one at 25. Here's a setup. This one's, oh, it's still in play. Good job by Donnell saving it. Tipped on over by Jabkowski. Donnell. Matero saves it. Great job by both teams. They don't want that ball at the ground. Again there, nice play by Notero. That was a nice play by Fish. She saves it. Tipped on over. Is it going to hit over? It's still in play. Oh, a nice, a nice setup there by Jokuski. And Tim, I believe, Farmer is going to win that point yeah. as it just fell just in between two players. Yeah, Jamie Fish just couldn't get it, and that was one of those odd balls that uh, just doesn't seem like it has much velocity, but kind of a, a slow roller with a point. Danelle, she gets blocked at the line. Great job by Andrews. Again, and they hit the net. 23-19, two points away from winning set one is Lancaster in this hard fought, very exciting set one here of at least three. Jakuski, she will serve it. Not that strong, but gets it over. A good setup to Danelle. Danelle tips it. Gets over the net. Great save by Lancaster. Oh, and that one's going to fall. A miscommunication between Danelle and Pawlowski. And that's going to give them one point away, Tim, from winning this first set. Yeah, these two teams split the season last year. But prior to that, Lancaster did not beat Clarence up until 2016. So Clarence with a long run. But you can see these teams both now evenly matched with Lancaster having a slight advantage in this first set. Uh, that one's gonna go off of Andrews. She couldn't control it at the line, so a point's gonna go towards Clarence. So good job winning that battle right at the net. So Schwalbach here, she will serve it. It's gonna get over, great save. Here's a nice setup. Spike, oh, what a good save. Danelle tips it over. Here's the set, Spike. And you know who's doing a great job on those is Lucio. She saved a lot of them here. Notero hits it. Once again, the set. We've seen Jokuski do a great job with that. Tipped on over. Notero hits it up. That was Andrews who got it back over. Now, a little back and forth action here. Both teams doing a great job. And there it is, it fell. Great job though, uh, almost controlled by Lucios. Yeah, you could see Emily Schlaubach almost had a chance, just a little bit out of position to get that ball tipped over the net. And a nice first set. Yes, yeah, set one is gonna go towards. Yes, 25-20 yeah, uh, is set one. Lancaster leads in one nothing. We'll be right back here on WNO Athletics. When it's time to sell your home, start with a visit to howardhanna.com, ranked the number one real estate site for sellers. A few clicks will show you the sales price you can expect for your home. We can get you the most money in the quickest amount of time because we know where the local buyers are and how to reach them. So if it's time to sell your home, visit howardhanna.com today and we'll match you with a local Howard Hanna agent to sell your home fast. If you've been injured in an auto accident, large or small, call 681-4088. RES Physical Medicine and Rehab right away. If you are in pain or just sore, don't take chances. Call RES today and take advantage of their 24 to 48 hour appointment pledge. With no co-pays, RES will help navigate the confusing world of no fault insurance with you. So you can concentrate on getting better. 681-4088, RES Physical Medicine and Rehab. The most important call you can make after an auto accident.
can lead to worse problems. Don't delay care. We're here for you. Western New York Immediate Care provides quick, quality care for non-emergent injuries and illnesses. Go to WNYimmediatecare.com for more information. Is he a new car? Forget about it. How about home? Forget about it. Does he get good rates? Forget about it. And you're saying there's no problem too big for this guy? Forget about it. This is Johnny, the guy we've been talking about. Johnny, this is Paul Wolf. Mr. Wolf, it's nice to meet you. Thank you for the invite. Not a problem. It's Paul, not Mr. Wolf. Oh, sorry, Paul. Johnny, forget about it. For all your insurance needs, call 835 Wolf and. Why do you exercise? To look better? To feel better? To drop a few pounds? To train for an event? To defy age? Or to keep your ability to say yes to the things you love to do? Whatever motivates you, G&G Fitness Equipment is here to get you there. Treadmills, ellipticals, rowers, bikes, home gyms, and accessories. We'll pair you with the right equipment, teach you how to use it, and be there every step of your fitness journey. G&G Fitness. Your goal is our goal. Welcome back here to Lancaster, where we have Lancaster against Clarence, set to coming up. Tim, Lancaster won the first one 25 to 20. As we get ready for set two, what are your thoughts on set one? Well, Lancaster really had the lead pretty much throughout that set. They led at one point 10 to 5. I believe then it was 20 to 14, and then they closed it out 25 to 20. Overall, a really nice performance. We know uh, they are a young team. They have only one senior. They've got two eighth graders, three so uh, two freshmen, three sophomores. So right now, Coach Becky Edwards must be thrilled to see what's going on and sitting at nine and one right now as their record in the Western New York Section 6 scene looks like a promising future here for the Lady Legends as these youngsters really develop before our eyes. Set two of tonight's action will be Schmalbeck on the right side, going right to left. And her first serve, unfortunately, will sail out of bounds. So the first point of set two will go to Lancaster. Lancaster's going to get the ball right back after just one serve. Felt like the play of uh, Ser uh, Serena Nataro, the libero for Lancaster, was really strong in that first set, Joe. Hamansky with the serve. The spike, good job at the line by Andrews. Still up. And this point will go towards Lancaster. So Lancaster, Tim, they'll continue serving here, getting the first two points. And they've started out strong here in the second set, up 2 nothing. Hamansky. Oh, Hamansky's a shot was too hard for Kennedy to handle. And two serves with a point. They got one off the miscue on the first one that was sailed. So they get three points right off the bat here with Hamansky. There's a good set play. And that one's going to find all room. Tim, I believe it was uh, Strother. Grace Strother. Grace with Strother. It's a little hard, the ref standing in our right. way, but uh, uh, Strother's going to get that spike in there. With authority. Beautiful spike there. Yeah, she found nothing but space there. So that's going to give the serve to Lucios. Second opportunity serving here for them, and again, it's gonna sell on them. That's the both times they had a chance at serving to get some points here on their end, and the ball sails. Oh, we only saw it a couple times in set one. Already happened twice here in the first couple hits here. Yep, Gabby Lucios with another uh, nice, she was also real strong in the first quarter for Clarence, first set, rather. Nice setup here by Schaubeck, and this one's gonna find a lot of space. You could say that's their sweet spot right there, uh, right corner. Yeah, Lucio's finding that in there. She gets the point. Back court. 4-2, and, and we've seen a couple of them in that back corner there. Absolutely. So Jamie Fish, she didn't start, but she's going to serve. And the spike tipped. Great job by Fish controlling it, but hits the net as Clarence just not able to control it with Shaw back here. So some quick points here off just Clarence not being able to control that. Lancaster doing a nice job when those sets come up, 
showing a few decoys. You know, usually they've got one or two girls always up there looking to spike it. And now she gets it in. A nice setup by Shawback. She's finding some space in there in between the defense of Lancaster. 5-3 is the score early in set two of tonight's match. And Allison Farmer made a really nice effort. Just couldn't quite get that lower to save that ball, but tremendous effort there. So Colvin will be serving here for the Red Devils. Great job though by Canetti, controlling it. Donnell tips it over. And I believe that was Notero trying to save it. She couldn't. One of the rare times where Notero hasn't been able to preserve the ball in play. Yeah, that was, that was hit hard, but I thought with how great she's been tonight, she able to control that, just a little too hot to handle. Yeah, a little, little velocity and spin. You gotta yeah. love that, that spin, Tim. No question. So Colvin, again, serving it over. It's a good volley. Oh, and a miscommunication, Tim, between Javikowski and Farmer. And they were set up by Andrews. So that's gonna get another point here, and we are tied in set two. Colvin. Andrews. Trying to hit it over, they do. Oh, nice play by Brady. And not being able to handle by Lancaster. And Clarence has the lead for the first time tonight. And all smiles now for Abby Brady and Taylor Donal up front. Colvin hits it over, tipped at the line. And it's gonna fall in on another point will be awarded to Clarence as Fuller, I don't know what she was trying to do if she was trying to set up Fuller, but that ball falls in, another point to Clarence. And an early lead now in the second set. Clarence is up seven to six. Well, seven to five. Um, a point's gonna be awarded to Lancaster. That one hit the net 10. Okay, so I think the scoreboard operator may need, no, they're gonna give it to Lancaster. Yep. So Lancaster serving. Danell, great job though. Returning that one was Andrews. And a nice spike by Corcoran. We have a tie game. And McKenna Corcoran, really strong performance in the first set and now getting it done again in the, th in the second here. Yeah, as uh, Farmer serves. Danell, she's gonna return that here, keep it in play. And it's tipped at the line, nice nice shot by Brady. It's gonna fall into play and a point is gonna be awarded to Clarence. Now you could see Gabby Luelsis uh, having a few words with her coach, Robin Shiflett, giving her the thumbs up. Taylor Deneau with the serve. Great save by Canetti at the line. Oh, nope. We'd award it here. And a point's gonna be awarded to Lancaster. I believe Tim, there was hands to the net, which is gonna give Lancaster a point here. Yeah, so. shame, because Gabby Luosos uh, really had a nice opportunity there to extend the lead. Kennedy saves it, tipped on over. There's a set, spike in and in. Jabkuski has been great setting up her teammates multiple times and again, Crockeran with the point, Actually, nine to eight. Check that, that was Megan Hamanowski. Oh. You know, the other time I couldn't see. That's right, we were, three, number three. We were, we were giving Crockeran um, the credit on that, but like you mentioned, sometimes the official is in the uh, path site, so, uh, but right there, that was Hamanowski with a beautiful spike there. And that one's gonna fall in. That time it was Crockeran. She's gonna win the point to Lancaster. So Lancaster up 10 to eight in set two. Notero almost hit the net. Refs aren't gonna call that. Tipped on over, Notero controls it. And into the net. Lancaster's gonna win that point. Nice job by Andrews and also Jakuski here. And another timeout here for Clarence State Trail 11-8. We're going to take a quick timeout here on WNY Athletics.
to worse problems. Don't delay care. We're here for you. Western New York Immediate Care provides quick, quality care for non-emergent injuries and illnesses. Go to WNYImmediateCare.com for more information. Welcome back here to Lancaster. Otero was going to serve it over here. Denell, and Denell's spike hits into the net. Lancaster's going to win the point off and lead 12-8 after the timeout. Yeah, a few points off the net here in the last few segments of this second set going Lancaster's way. Otero served again. Canetti. It's a set. Oh, great job, and a point's going to be going towards Clarence, but... Lucios going to get it just a little too hard there as Lancaster was right at the line with, with Andrews, but it's going to fall in for a point in a 12-9 score. Really impressed with Gabby Lucios' game so far right there. She had a lot of uh, momentum going into that shot. Nice save by Andrews, now over the net. Tipped at the line. And Clarence unable to control that with Christopher. And Joe, we, we've mixed up names with Cochran and Hamanowski. Well, yeah, but, Cochran. But one, one thing's for yeah. sure. Both those girls are stepping up big time on the front lines for Lancaster. That one's going to go into the net off the serve. And the ball's going to go back to Clarence. We do have substitution here. 9 and 15, which is Christopher and Colvin are coming out. So Shawback here is going to be serving. It's a game of much communication. Both teams doing a nice job talking to each other throughout this match. Shawback serve is going to find its way on the left side, out of bounds, in a point awarded to Lancaster. They're up 14 to 10 as we play till 25 here in set two. Here's a serve by Hamanowski, returned by Kennedy. They're set up. Spike, it was tipped at the line, but good job by Strother. And they're going to win the point. Very similar to this first set, Joe, with the action and, the, and the, the lead changes, the point swings, where Lancaster holding a, a, an edge, slight edge throughout this second set. I mean, they, Link, uh, Clarence had an edge, but Lancaster now in the driver position, up 14-11. Back and forth right at the line. Good job by both teams. Another try for a spike. Nice save there by Lucios. Kennedy's going to hit it over. Matero saves it. Jakuski sets it up. Hit back over. Back and forth. Almost hits the ceiling from Lucios. Tipped at the line. Can't get it over. Point Lancaster. And a great back and forth again. And there's no question Taylor Denal would like to have that chance over again. And uh, sometimes that high shot, I imagine, is a little bit tricky, you know, to time it correctly. Um, so it may look easier, but uh, certainly not an easy shot. Cochran just gets over the line. Fuller sets him up. Now back on over. Hermanski. Lucio saves it. Fuller. Denal. Great block at the line. Can they save it? They do. Danell tipped on over. Amounski. Spike at the line. Can't control it. It was between 6 and 13 with Fish and Schaubeck. And a point, a hard-earned point for Lancaster. One consistency throughout this match so far is the setting of Lancaster has been really solid. They're putting their, their strikers in position to put up some nice spikes, and they're capitalizing. Good job by Kennedy, keeping it in play. It's going to hit the net, though. And another point we favor to Lancaster as Cochran's on a roll here with serving. They've got a couple points right in a row. Kind of extend this lead to him to 17-11. Now eight points away from 25. And the hitters for Lancaster have been heavy hitters, doing a bulk of the work with the scoring tonight. A substitution. Pawlowski comes in for Howell for Clarence. Again, we're going to have another serve for Cochran. She hits it over. Fuller with the setup to Denell. Tipped at the line. Great save. Oh, but it just couldn't stay in bounds. It was a great save by Farmer. It was a wise play by Ella Polowski to watch that ball go out of bounds. Yep. It was somewhat close, and uh, she made a quick decision. There's no question. When you're playing volleyball, there's a lot of quick decision-making that must be taken. And Howell's going to come in here. 
Otero. Hamatsky going to set it up. Tipped. Fuller saves it. Fidel try to tip it over at the line. Great job by Lancaster. Fuller. Fidel's tipped, and she couldn't get that one over. And a point to Lancaster. Yeah, Taylor Denal looking a little frustrated right now, and uh, the, one of the leaders for the Red Devils, she'll certainly get it back, but right now, not having her way as she'd like it. Andrews will serve it, Fuller. She sets up number three, Strother on that. Now Lancaster trying to get the next point. They won't. That one's going to fall in between Hamonski as Clarence nice wins that job. point. Denal with a nice job there getting back into the action and much needed point for Clarence. And I was just going to say that, Tim. They needed to break that run there as Clarence had gotten, I'm sorry, Lancaster had gotten quite a few. Now they get a chance to serve and win some points back a little bit easier with Colvin. Hamowski sets them up. Nice hit by Farmer. Denal, and she's going to hit it. A little too strong there for Natero. And another point we win here for Clarence. Yeah, not much time to, you know, so, uh, sulk on your bad shots, but Denal right there after having a couple shots not go her way, putting up a good, good couple points for the Red Devils. Amonski, a nice setup to Farmer. Too hot to handle for Clarence. Good effort on their end, but the point will be won by the Legends. Yeah, and the libero for Clarence, Taylor Canetti, close but no cigar. Canetti, and it looks like the point will be awarded to Clarence here. And like I said, with where we're sitting, I mean, we're sitting right in front of the referee on the right side, so it's a little tough to see at some point. She's kind of reaching over to him, um, so we, it was a little hard to see that one, we apologize. Here's the serve, this one's gonna fall in. Nice job by, well, Taylor Denal, the four-year starter. And that would be an ace, Tim, one of the first ones we've seen tonight. I'm pretty sure that is the first official ace, and Denal <laughs> looking really strong on her serve. Good job by Clarence, kind of fighting back here in set two. Now only trailing by three, they trailed by at least seven in this one. Denal, she's gonna give it right back, unfortunately misfired into the net. Lancaster five points away from winning set two and taking a strong two-set lead here. Notero, the libero, will be serving from left to right. Notero, that gets over. Strother. Denell, great job by Lancaster. Denell sets it up for Colvin. Now tipped on over, is it in? Well, they're going to say it's in. And I believe, Tim, that was Abby Brady who found some space and it wasn't much, it nearly went out of bounds, but it's a good point for Clarence. Yeah, that was really, tough, really close. Cl close to the line and with authority, and uh, that did not give much chance for Lancaster to defend that. Uh, Canetti with the serve. Lancaster trying to set it up. Hit back over by Hamonski, and uncontrolled by the Legends in the back end. I'm sorry, by Clarence, but in the back end. So 21-17 for Lancaster. Lancaster now turning the corner, four points away from closing out the second set. A couple substitutions here. As um, just a quick conversation in between Denell and the referee in the far side. Yeah. Kennedy, the libero, she stepped off for a second. Yeah, and both referees, both officials tonight, definitely doing a nice job keeping this game flowing. And uh, outside of that one, that was a roofer uh, hitting the beam. There was and, a couple they, other they, that nearly hit the nearly hit the ceiling. I couldn't believe they didn't, Tim. And credit to the officials. They corrected that uh, once it was brought to their attention by Coach Shifflett. Uh, Kennedy came off uh, for Clarence along with Howell. So Hamatsky with the serve. At the line. There's a whistle, nope, no whistle. Uh, you have a point, so it uh, looks like um, Clarence hit the net here with the ball. So a point favor towards Lancaster, and they're up by five. Yeah, that's a crusher, and that was ever so slightly where did they hit that net there. Joukowsky. 
That one is set up there by Colvin. Good return here. And the Legends, oh, almost miscommunication. Otero able to get that over. That one is going to be too strong off the hands of Abby Brady. 23-17, two points away from winning set two. One of the things that looks clear in this, they're going to take a timeout. Joe, we'll take a timeout. You're watching live action here at Java Gym on WNY Athletics. worse problems. Don't delay care. We're here for you. Western New York Immediate Care provides quick, quality care for non-emergent injuries and illnesses. Go to WNYimmediatecare.com for more information. Welcome back here to the Java Center here in Lancaster. 23-18, the last point you just saw here during commercial break was won by Clarence. As they need that point, they're going to get the chance to serve now with Spellback. As they need to get five of the next seven points here, Tim to win this match. Spellbeck, Matero saves it, Hamonski. Nice job though, and a hit by Andrews, and a point will be favored towards Clarence. And prior to our break coming back, uh, Gabby Luosos with another nice attack to the net, and Spike to close the gap, 23 to 19 Clarence in the, in the deficit. Kept alive. Back and forth. Communication between Cochran. Got to get it over. Here's a set. Kept at the line. Great job by Mounsky. She saves it. Oh, and a nice job right at the wall of Clarence. They win that point. Once Andrews, it. she had tipped it over, but Clarence got a good job at their hands, and they win that point. Three-point game. Timeout for Lancaster, which means another break for us here on WNA Athletics, it's 23-20. When you're ready to buy a home, start with a visit to howardhanna.com. You can find new listings before they appear anywhere else and refine your search for immediate notifications of similar properties. Plus, get pre-qualified to make your offer stronger and connect with a local Howard Hanna agent who knows your area and how to close the deal. So when you're ready to buy, visit howardhanna.com and find your home fast. I love being home. All right, welcome back here with a rowdy crowd here in Lancaster. 23-20 in set two. Tim, we're almost at the end of set two, but you know, Clarence lost the first one, but they've done a better job controlling play in the second one. And I love the attitude of Robin Shiflett. I could see her during that timeout, having fun with her girls and smiling and keeping them loose. Schalbeck with the serve. Great job here at the line. Tipped on over. Lancaster trying to be on the same page. Otero saves it. It's a great setup by Fuller. Spike. Kamowski couldn't save it. And another point here. Things getting close. 23-21. Clarence putting some pressure on Lancaster late in set two. Yeah, it's the momentum in that right now is with Clarence. Spellbeck with the serve. Notero lost control. Another point, and it's 23-22. Now we're getting to the point of you've got to win by two here, Tim. And we might go a little bit over 25 in that instance here. Yeah, and you could see, you know, that last time out spoke volumes, and there was coaching, but also just character building and keeping that team loose. And Coach Shifflett, of course, a veteran, to the volleyball scene and knows how to handle adversity. And you look at this Clarence team over the years. Last year, before the COVID season, they were 28, six and one. Back in 2018, they were 32 and four. So this is a team that 
is no doubt a powerhouse in section six and they're, they're up to the challenge right now and they've made a nice comeback they were down 23 to 17 inching back now just down by one 23 to 22 with seconds away to resuming this second set and tim they clarence has done a great job right at the net winning those battles some tough work up there i mean volleyball is not an easy sport uh Schwalbeck will continue to serve Schwalbeck gets it over otero hamowski great return back For farmer had to save it tipped at the line oh great job by him um cochran tipped on over Fuller, spike, and a point. Tie game. Lucios with the point. Clarence is really feeling it here, Tim. In the last, you know, six uh, six volleys here, we're getting six, what, six out of the last seven points, right? Well, you know what? I see both stands, you know, Clarence and Lancaster fans applauding the action. It's been tremendous action this second set. Back and forth to now. Fuller's going to set it up. Lucio set the line, it's tipped. Back and forth, and Lancaster's gonna win that one off the hands of Denau. If they get one more point, they win set two. Clarence has to get this point and will play to 26. How big was that point right there though for Lancaster? He'd slip away and now back in the driver's seat with the potential to close the set. Hamowski, Fuller. And it's hit into the net by Strother. And Lancaster survives set two. It got a little dicey at the end here as Clarence showed a lot of strength and excitement and just never giving up there, really making that the better of two sets. They lose at 25-23. They must win set three. Quick timeout. We'll be back for set three. When it's time to sell your home, start with a visit to howardhanna.com ranked the number one real estate site for sellers. A few clicks will show you the sales price you can expect for your home. We can get you the most money in the quickest amount of time because we know where the local buyers are and how to reach them. So if it's time to sell your home, visit howardhanna.com today and we'll match you with a local Howard Hanna agent to sell your home fast. If you've been injured in an auto accident, large or small, call 681-4088. RES Physical Medicine and Rehab right away. If you are in pain or just sore, don't take chances. Call RES today and take advantage of their 24 to 48 hour appointment pledge. With no co-pays, RES will help navigate the confusing world of no fault insurance with you. So you can concentrate on getting better. 681-4088, RES Physical Medicine and Rehab. The most important call you can make after an auto accident. To worse problems. Don't delay care. We're here for you. Western New York Immediate Care provides quick, quality care for non emergent injuries and illnesses. Go to WNYimmediatecare.com for more information. See, do car? Forget about it. How about home? Forget about it. Does it get good rates? Forget about it. And you're saying there's no problem too big for this guy? Forget about it. Hold on. This is Johnny, the guy we've been talking about. Johnny, this is Paul Wolf. Mr. Wolf, it's nice to meet you. Thank you for the invite. Not a problem. This is Paul, not Mr. Wolf. Oh, sorry, Paul. Johnny, forget about it. For all your insurance needs, call 835 Wolf and. All right, welcome back here for set three. 
Spike at the wall. Oh, a great save on, on the net there. We'll keep this going. Both teams doing great, great job here fighting at the net, keeping things alive. Great job by Fuller. Hit back over by Lucios. Hamansky going to set up here. Um, Cochran. And that one's going to find some space. Finally, we get a point with Lucios. Gabby Lucios, by far and away, I feel like she's been the most standout player for Clarence tonight. And once again, contributing to get the first point in the third set. So Lucios will serve it to Terrell. Hamansky. That one's hit on over by Andrews. Not the line. The now, and it's going to be in. It will. Blew that one by Notero. And Clarence in a must win set. They're up 2-0. And Danelle went up with confidence there. Sometimes in that second set, there was times where she went up to the net. Maybe not as confident, it appeared to me, but right there, showing why she's one of the best. Amansky with the setup to Cochran. That one's going to sell out of bounce. Joe, I was going to say, before that second set ended, no matter what happened, that was a good run for Clarence, and they yep. brought, they're bringing that energy back into this third set. You could see it, the results now up 3-0. Lutero, oh, and a great dive by Hamansky. She saved it. Canetti, stall back. And off a couple of fingertips in front. And Danelle is going to help win that point. And you're right, Tim. I mean, they lost the last two points of set two, but they had a heck of a run. And really, if you look back the last eight points, it's really been in the favor of Clarence. And I like the way Clarence has played at the net. You know, I think Lancaster had the advantage for the first set and a half, but Clarence really tightened it up towards the end there, and they're, they're setting up strong now, looking good position right now, up four to one. Yeah, that one sailed on Lucio, so the point will go to Clarence. They're going to get the ball back to serve with Hamansky. Did now. Ball back. And now tips on on over, and it's going to fall in between. Those drop balls, Joe, have to be the killer for the coaches. Oh, it, they went outside of the restricted area, we'll call it. So that's going to give Lancaster the point. I apologize. The now, and hit the net, and a point will be going towards Clarence. And we have to give our credit there where credit's due. Tim Gardner, not just working the board, but the eyes on the court. Well, well he's been in many more volleyball games than we have, and we apologize, but we, you know, we're doing our best. Fish is now serving here. Hamansky, and a nice spike by Farmer. Set up by Hamansky. Hamansky's done a great job all night, Tim, setting up her teammates for potential points. Yeah, and it's been a really collective effort when you look at both teams, Lancaster in particular, getting production from a lot of different girls so far. So Corcoran here will be serving from left to right. She gets in on over. Lucios, she ball back, Denal. And a great save by Hermansky. This one's gonna fall in and a point for Lancaster as they trail 5-4 as things tightening up here early in set three. Maddie Andrews with that little drop shot. I, I forgive the technicality if that's not what it's called, but <laughs> I love that little soft lob over the net. Well, you know, I don't know if you ever fought hockey with Doc Emmerich. He always had those quirks, right, with things he said. But we don't want to confuse people with, with stuff like <laughs> that. You know what I mean? Um, shout out to Doc. He was one say, of the best. I would say the extent of my volleyball career would be uh, middle school gym and then water volleyball, but I always loved the drop <laughs> shot. Whenever you could just well, who didn't play volleyball in gym class? And I give these girls a lot of credit. This is not an easy sport. So Corcoran, she hits it on over. Set up by Schalbeck. Tipped on over and not controlled by Andrews. So good play by Brady that and a one, point for Clarence. That one headed right over our scores table. I know. But see, that's I, why I we're wanted sitting low I wanted to stick the arm out and see if I still had it, but. It's not like in a baseball game where you go reach for the ball. That's right. I mean, we can't keep it though if, we, if it did hit us, so. Uh, here's the serve by Brady. Hamowski setting up her team at Fuller. Great job by Lucios. Denell. 
And Hamatsky again going to set it up. Spike. And is it in? No. Oh, they're going to give it to her. Changed her mind. Farmer with the point. That's a nice job of the officials conferring with one another to get the call right. And, you know, I don't think any qualms are being made about the way this game's being officiated. And it's being played really a strong effort by both teams so far. Lucio saved it. Now, Maski gonna save it. Andrews, and it just falls over to the net, but it went over. That counts. It's a point for Lancaster. Yeah, Madeline Andrews with a little love from the net there, and sometimes that happens. You could see Coach Becky Edwards smiling and knowing that little luck on their side there. Andrews serves it. Here's the set, and is it in? It is, and a nice shot there. With a spike from Deneau in a back and forth set three with Lancaster winning the first two. It sure is back and forth, Joe, and six to six right now. So that will give to the four-year starter, Deneau. She'll be serving. And here we go. And going to sail on the bounce. So Deneau just couldn't keep that one in play. And Deneau had tonight's only ace, and you could see where she could be deadly if she could just... Shorten that up a little bit. Farmer will serve it. Palowski saves it. Lucios. Andrews. Notero. At the line. Set up. Spike. And a point for Kelly Colvin. Clarence in the lead. Allison Farmer really giving it all there. Diving into the court. And just not enough with that. Velocity on Howell, the ball, hard to, hard to defend. Howell and Pulaski just did come out. Kennedy's back in there. She was a libero. She serves it. Notero. Amounski. And off the hands of Denal. Nice shot by Hermounski. You could see where positioning is everything on this court. And the girls, for the most part, both teams have been positioned well. But some of these shots have uh, a little too much pepper. Denell saves it, and the miscommunication between Denell and Fish, point for Lancaster. Joe, I think you just nailed it on the head, the, the communication there, and communication is key, it's critical, especially when you're in this third set. With Taro, Lucios, gonna set her up. Lucios with the spike. Great job by Andrews, she saves it. Farmer to Andrews. Kennedy, here's a set. Denell, in. No, point for Lancaster. Denal just couldn't keep it in. That was ultra close. And Denal just uh, inches away from getting that point. Otero with the serve. Denal. Set up, and will it be in? No, on the sh shot from number three, Strother. Just missed another point. So a couple points in a row here. Clarence not being able to keep those in. It's a game of inches and such a touch, you know, Whoop. to have that feel. Hold on, the girls started here, but there was a whistle. So we're gonna reset this up before the ball hits us in the face. We don't want that. What do we got here? Timeout? Looks like a timeout. Timeout call. clearance. All right, Tim. Good Tim Rosek, Drew Daniel here, 11-8, set three. We'll be right back. If you've been injured in an auto accident, large or small, call 681-4088. RES Physical Medicine and Rehab right away. If you are in pain or just sore, don't take chances. Call RES today and take advantage of their 24 to 48 hour appointment pledge. With no co-pays, RES will help navigate the confusing world of no-fault insurance with you, so you can concentrate on getting better. 681-4088, RES Physical Medicine and Rehab. The most important call you can make after an auto accident. Welcome back here to Lancaster. So we have a set three here, and it's 11-8 Lancaster. Lancaster won the first two. Tim Morozek, Joe Daniel. Tim, never been to a volleyball game before. Never called it. It's been a lot of fun tonight. Absolutely. The action's been two ways, and it's been intense. And you could see why these are two of the best teams in Western New York. And at the serve is Natero the libero. Natero. Serves over, saved by Lucios. Lucios gonna get it, and that's gonna fall in. Great job by Lucios, finding that point. Lotero dove for it, couldn't keep it in, and a point, award for Clarence. You could see there's just been moments where Clarence, uh, 
you know, maybe the accuracy on those uh, nut shots going last couple misses, you know, otherwise they would be in the lead in this set. So Spalbeck will be serving. Jokowski, here's a spike, and it's going to fall in off the hip by Himanski. And, Tim, we've talked about Jokowski. He's done a great job setting up her teammates for another point there with a three-point lead, 12-9. Yeah, Lancaster really excelling at that, getting those sets. And I love the way they're bringing energy to the net. They oftentimes have the decoy with two girls going up and one of them taking the lead with the spike. Jokowski will be serving. Denell for Clarence is on the bench at the minute. Lucio saved it, tipped on over, and will not be in by Fish. Going to go outside of the restricted area, and the point will be awarded towards Lancaster. They extend the lead to four. And Jukuski, Tim, still serving. And another point for Lancaster as Agrisano, it just, I think she misjudged that, just fell just in front of her. She's going to come out for Denal after one serve. So quick, I mean, tip, a quick breather for Denal there. And the leader of this team, April Jakubowski, getting it done on the serve. Set the line. Great job by Jakubowski. Tipped on over by Himowski. Here's a set. Spike. Oh, nice job returning. It was Farmer. Himowski. And it's going to fall in. Himowski got set up. She found that soft spot in the defense and another point as Lancaster starts to extend the lead as Clarence got off to such a great start here in set three. Yeah, and Coach having uh, some instruction to Abby Brady on positioning. Bukowski, Kennedy, Fisher, and Mounts, Jokowski, I'm sorry, Andrews. And it was a little too hot to handle for Taylor Denault. I think you just said it, Joe, hot to handle. This team has been really uh, putting some oomph on that ball and spiking it with authority. And the Lady Legends really on the rise. You can see why they are climbing the ranks right now in Western New York. Nice set here by Fuller. Tipped on over, great job and good hustle for Hermanski. Well, you, I like the uh, adjustment because the last but, few uh, times Tim, just real quick, the point is going to go to Kurtz Clarence. You couldn't get in, but go ahead. Yeah, I like that point by Clarence there because they were spiking it a little too far past. They were going out of bounds. Nice little soft shot at the knot, net, and it leads to a point. Jakowski, spike. Great job by Spalbeck staying with that. At the net and tipped on over, but into the net by Jakowski, point again towards Clarence as they try to rally. Yeah, it looked like Jack, uh, Jacob Blowski, she saw Denal at the net and maybe that altered her shot there. Andrews, and a point for Lancaster as it was off the hands of Spalbach in the left side of play. Well, we were tied 6-6, six to six, and the lead has grown to 17-11, advantage Lancaster. Yeah, game of momentum, Tim, with Hamounski serving. She gets it over. Kennedy. Denell trying to get it over. She doesn't. Hits it right in the net as she tried to spike it. Another point for Lancaster. Leading two sets to zero. They get to 25. They will win three sets to zero and win tonight's game. Hamowski is serving. Denali, off to answer Joukowsky, Notaro, and a nice play trying to save it was Andrews, she couldn't, and it will be in favor of Clarence, they're gonna win that point, and they will serve it with Fish. Mentioned earlier, Lancaster ranked third, correction, they're ranked second in the Buffalo News polls, and you could see it's them in Frontier, the top two right now in Western New York. That was a great save in the back end. Both teams trying to win this next point. And now we're to be that one. No. Again in the back with Szymanski at the wall. Will it fall? No. Again. Unbelievable action here. 
Nice save by Lucios, and again in the backside with Schmolbeck. Here we go, Amounski. Andrews, that will be it this time. Gets it by Howell. Joe, that was an awesome rally and volley, and the thing about that volley, though, it did look like it was all pressure by Lancaster, and Clarence holding on to keep that volley going, but just at the end, the Lady Legends too much, taking a 19-12 sizable advantage here, getting close to closing out the third set. And Cochran with the serve, saved by Lucios. Schmalbeck to Denal, and this time she will win the point is off the hands of Jakubowski. And a much needed point for Clarence. So we mentioned Frontier number one, Lancaster's ranked second, Sweet Home third, Niagara Wheatfield four, and Clarence are five, and that's your Western New York top five for the women's volleyball. And Christopher and Schwalbeck did come out there. Nice spike by Farmer. This one's gonna be off the hands of Hermanski. Back to back points here, won by the Red Devils. And couldn't come at a better time to get a few, uh, see if they can string some points together. Brady, saved by Notero. Bukowski, and hit into the net, unfortunately, by Farmer, and another point for Clarence. Slowly but surely, getting back into this game, only trailing by four. We saw it similar last set where they clawed back. Can they do it again here? Andrews to Hamowski. Farmer, it was saved by Lucios. Now Farmer has it. Hamowski to Farmer. And Denali trying to spike it. And again, unfortunately, she hits into the net. She's done that a couple times tonight. I know she's got to be frustrated by that. Yeah, and the mid blocker, Sophia Fuller, was up there. Nice job. And you know, Clarence doing a much better job, though, in these last uh, few points to be in position. They were out of position a few times here in this third set, which costed them. Oh, and a good spike, though, by Brady. Too hot to handle, and a point one by Clarence. And here comes Taylor Denal to serve the ball. And Denal. Remember, she has a ton of velocity. Can she keep that ball? Last two serves have been out of bounds, so let's see if she can keep it in here. Denal, and that one's going to get into the net. She's, she's had some outstanding spikes, but just a couple, you know, just got away from her, and that's going to give a point to Lancaster as a timeout. We'll be right back. 21-16, WNO Athletics. To worse problems. Don't delay care. We're here for you. Western New York Immediate Care provides quick, quality care for non emergent injuries and illnesses. Go to WNYimmediatecare.com for more information. All right, welcome back here to Lancaster. Lucios with the spike. Kukowski. Andrews saved by Denell. Set up. It's got to go over, and it does. Kukowski. Tipped. Good job by Clarence, controlling the play. Nice spike by number three, Strother. And it's 21-17. Good job by both teams controlling it as Kennedy comes back in. Yeah, you can see Clarence not giving up. And that was a great timeout right there. I thought Robin Shiflett, uh, especially with Denal, missing on her serve, needed to regroup that bunch and sure paid dividends. Great shape. It's great save by Farmer there if Andrews couldn't control it. At the net, tipped on over. And a point awarded for 
Jamie Fish it, with the soft touch yeah. for Clarence. I love it. I couldn't tell by the, the ref's hand, though, but you're right, Tim. Clarence is going to get that point, a much needed one. Trailing by three. Kennedy with the serve. And it's going to go just out of bounds. That's yeah. an absolute killer because that ball was so close. And, uh, you know, they they got to stay within their normal serve. So give Clarence credit. They're, they're still not, not backing down on that serve. Notero, Denal at the line. And that one's going to be punched home by Lucios. Three-point game as Lancaster's three points away from winning tonight's game. But Clarence has not given up especially in these last two sets. They came back strong late in the second one, and they're only trailed by three here. Emmy Schlaubach and Gia uh, Gianna Christopher come into the game. Grace Strother and Ella Pulaski are going to be replaced and by guess, them. And guess who's serving him? Schwalbeck. Comes into the game to serve in a much needed point here. Schwalbeck gets it in. Andrews controls it. Hamonski tipped on over. Denell controls it. And a point's going to be awarded to Lancaster. Two points away. That's a critical missed effort there. And Clarence slowly seeing this game slip away here. Now serving this Jakubowski, who's done a great job setting up her teammates tonight. She's got the serve to now. Schwalbeck. Lucios. Great save by Notero. Hamonski. Tipped on over. Is it going to fall? Kennedy can't get it. Hamonski is going to get that point for Lancaster. One point away from winning tonight's matchup. You could see both Emily Schlabach and Taylor Kennedy both struggling to get to that ball. Just a tough, tough mismatch there. Denal. Schwalbeck. Lucios. Almost saved. And out of bounds, but... Great hustle by Farmer. My goodness. The athleticism of these girls is, is unbelievable to watch first time watching volleyball. Absolutely. And give Clarence tons of credit here. They're not giving up by any means. Yep, they're still in this game. As he, you know, Looks like wipe off a court. wide spot. Of course, Tim, it took them to almost to the last point of the night for Sweat to be on the floor. Right out of oh. three sets. And that's good heads up coaching right there. Becky Edwards noticing that and no need to take any chances. Oh, absolutely. All right, so Clarence hanging in there, trailing by four. They got a rally though. Any point that they score Lancaster, they win this match. Natero. Bukowski. Ball back. Denali trying to tip it over. Saved by Hamonski. Spike. Matero keeping it alive. Lucios. Denali. And off the hands of Jakubowski. They're hanging on, Joe. Clarence just down 24 to 21. They're, ha they're hanging on better than the, the piece of thread that I have at home. And they've got Gabby Luasos. Definitely think has been one of their best players tonight at the serve. Matero. Here's a setup. Spike. Lucio saves it. Spalbeck. Denali. Off the hands and another point. Off of Jakubowski again. Hang on, folks. It's 24 22. That's going to give us a chance to take a timeout. We'll be right back. When you're ready to buy a home, Start your search at howardhanna.com. You'll be the first to see new listings, find similar properties, and connect with a local Howard Hanna agent. Get started today at howardhanna.com. Welcome back to Lancaster WNY Athletics. Proud to be here with you tonight. Tim Morazic, Joe Daniel here for some girls volleyball. One of the first games that Tim and I have ever been to, and Tim, this has been a very exciting game. And I have a newfound appreciation for volleyball. It is very exciting. Yeah, I've watched a lot of Olympic volleyball, and I always prefer the, the indoor to the beach volleyball. Nothing to take away from beach volleyball, but I find the indoor just a fuller team game. Also like to thank Tim Gardner helping us with the production, and of course the maestro behind it all, Frank Wolf at WNY Athletics, and everybody tuning in to watch us. Lucio with the serve. 
Andrews saves it. Amowski. Nice save, though, by Lucio. Set up by Schalbeck. Tipped in over. Notero has it. Chibakowski. Notero. Good buck at the line. Oh, and another point for Clarence. Hang on tight, folks. Down by one, Joe. And Andrews couldn't get it over. It's 24-23, and the pressure is on for Lancaster because they need the next pointer. We have a tie game. What a rally by the Red Devils here. They lost the first two sets. They got better in set two, but set three has been their best of the night. Wouldn't you say, Tim? Well, I love the fact that they have not given up in that. The fact they were down pretty convincingly, 23-17, to 17, I believe it was. Yeah, and, and let's do... Back. It's been awesome, and, you know, they clawed back that last set, but you're right. I believe this has been... A very similar set to the second set. In both sets, they had a chance to take a lead or take an advantage at the end here. Let's remember, last set was tied 23 to 23. Now Clarence with a chance to tie it again here. All right, Tim, let's do a quick recap. What, uh, what was the score in set one? Set one, 25 to 20. Set two, 25 to 23, both for Lancaster. Both for close games within five, and here we go again with Lucios. Matero saves it. Here's the spike from Andrews. Blocked at the line. Nice job by Christopher. She got her hands up. We have, a, no, I'm sorry. I thought it was blocked. No, Lancaster, I apologize, Tim. I thought it was blocked. Lancaster's gonna get the win here. Oh, but the ball was blocked into the out into of bounds. The, so I see. as a result, of Lancaster course. takes three straight sets. I didn't think the game would be three straight sets, but and I give Lancaster credit. They really, when they were down, they, they did a tremendous job to take that lead and not let it go, really. You know, both, both matches, the last set and the third set here, they had a chance to let that lead slip away, but they hung on. And, and Tim, look how close that was. It was so close to having a tie game there. And, the and Lancaster. shout out to the Lancaster yeah. Lady Legends team for giving us the wave. I think they were waving at us, Joe. Well, and, they uh, may be waving to their team, but Tim, let's talk about that last play, how close that was to Clarence getting that tie. Yeah, it was. And, you know, I love the fact that Coach Robin Shiflett has got that team responding because there, there was a lot of adversity they had to face both in that second and especially in that third set. And to claw back getting the game down to 23 to 24, just a point away from tying it, you know, and just a misfortunate block yeah. they did. It was so close. You know, they fought to the very end, and I, I'm sure this year it's advantage Lancaster, but knowing the way these two schools battle in pretty much every sport, it's, uh, it's not a rivalry that's going to go away anytime soon, and both these teams with the most respect for each other, no doubt. Now, for Tim Morozek, I'm Joe Daniel. Thank you for listening and watching WNY Athletics coverage of girls volleyball between Lancaster and Clarence. Lancaster wins three sets to zero, but Clarence nearly tied it to force a fourth one. Good night from Lancaster. When it's time to sell your home, start with a visit to howardhanna.com, ranked the number one real estate site for sellers. A few clicks will show you the sales price you can expect for your home. We can get you the most money in the quickest amount of time because we know where the local buyers are and how to reach them. So if it's time to sell your home, visit howardhanna.com today and we'll match you with a local Howard Hanna agent to sell your home fast. Uh -huh.